Ohio State dominated Maryland 62-14, so let's talk about what went wrong. Tim, Doug, Bill, the special teams are driving Urban Meyer crazy. You could tell it in the post game. We can't even remember all the things that went wrong. Bill, name them. Go. I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, they gave up a 100-yard kick return for a touchdown. Uh, they kicked the ball out of bounds to start the second half. They had a field goal block. They bobbled a snap on an extra point. They had a 21-yard punt that got shanked off the side of Drew Chrisman's foot. They had a like 30-yard punt return negated because of a block in the back called an Amir Reap. Uh, I think that's it. They straight up missed like a 29-yard field goal oh, or something. There were seven things. Yeah, they missed a field goal. Yeah. Seven. That was a seven. So on a scale of one to ten, as Urban Meyer pulls his hair out after a huge win, because he's re he's doing this, he's talking about this too. Um, scale of one to ten, ten is is terrible. One is no big deal. How big are these issues, Tim? I'll go seven. You know, one for every play that they kind of missed today, and uh, I. It's, it's something interesting that they can have all these problems and still win by 48 points. But, I mean, it was almost a Murphy's Law day. Literally everything that could go wrong did go wrong. The only thing that really didn't go wrong was they at least they didn't fumble a punt, punt which was the, really the only positive you can take away from special teams. Obviously, you can't get away with it against good teams. Penn State coming in three weeks. They got to get this stuff cleaned up. It's been a problem all season. It's something that's got to get straightened out of Ohio State as playoff aspirations. I think the kicker stuff is real. I think the kick coverage stuff is real because it's popped up multiple times. They had six true freshman defenders on kick coverage to start the game. And I thought that was a good sign. Like guys like Baron Browning and Pete Werner and Jeffrey Okuda and Marcus Williamson are getting out there because they trust them. And then they gave up a huge play. Um, Austin Mack is a guy who didn't play special teams today on kick coverage because he was a little bit hurt. He expects to do that in the future. They're going to figure out again with some personnel. They've got to get the most important guys in there. Um, but the kicker thing, especially Bill, I think is something that's really gnawing at Urban Meyer. What's your number? Seven also. I'm going to say like a nine. They lost last year at Penn State because their special teams made two big, big mistakes. That's a great point. And, like, whatever, you do it against Maryland and you talk about it, but it didn't really matter. It's going to matter in two weeks. It might matter next week when you're on the road in the tough place at Nebraska. Um, I'm at a nine. And the kicker thing, the kickoff thing, I think can be easily solved if Urban Meyer just sort of gives up on his coffin corner kick thing and just decides to boot it out of the end zone and let the other team start from a 25. I know that's not what they've done. They like stopping a guy here on the five-yard line, but at a certain point you got to give it up if you can't do it, and they have, don't have kickers who can do it. Um, a freshman blew a block. Thayer Munford blew a block on the field goal that got blocked. Um, I don't know if all these guys it's, – it's good they're playing freshmen. I don't know if they're all ready. I'm at a nine. That's my question for Urban on Monday is are you going to give up on your kickoff strategy and just boot it in the end zone because there's no other way to fix it? Bill, Doug, Tim, Ohio State wins 62-14. We'll see you, I don't know, later probably. See you later. All right, bye.